Hey guys! And welcome to the next lesson about Russian pronunciation. Today we will talk about final divorcing. What does divorcing mean? It means that something which was voiced becomes unvoiced. Well, in fact, in Russian we have these six pairs of Russian consonants. In each pair we have voiced and voiceless consonant. How can we understand which one, for example, b, p, which one is voiced? To understand this, try to put your fingers here on your throat like this and try to say, we will try with z, s, because they are long to pronounce. When we pronounce z, we really feel the vibration of our vocal cords. Let's look. Z, it vibrates. And when we pronounce s, there is no vibration here. It means that our vocal cords don't work. That's why s is voiceless. Let's try. S, z, s. Okay, now let's look at other pairs and these words I wrote here. So, b, p. B is voiced is unvoiced. And the rule in Russian, why do we need all these pairs? We need them because the rule is when a word finishes with the voiced consonant, it automatically becomes unvoiced, voiceless. For example, for the pair b, p, b will turn into p. Listen carefully to my examples and you'll hear it. Rap. Rap, a slave. Crap, crap. Crab, crab. Dupe, dupe. Oak, a, a tree. Zup, zup. A tooth. Хлеб, хлеб. Bread. Lop, lop forehead, grip, grip, mushroom. All the V will turn into F. I took the words with a soft sign in the end because it still will work. Look. Кровь, кровь, blood. Бровь, бровь, uh, an eyebrow. G -k pair. Druk, druk, a friend. Vrak, vrak, an enemy. Mok, mok, I could or he could. Ya mok, I could. Z s pair. Bies, bies, without. Raskas, raskas. A story. Maros. Maros. How can I translate Maros? Well, when it's freezing. Um, Z -sh pair. Mush. Mush. A husband. Mirage. Mirage. When it seemed to you, but it's not true. Strash. Strash. It's a guardian. Garage, garage, garage. Nosh, nosh, a knife. And the last d -t pair, the examples are truth, truth, labor, sat, sat, a garden, plot, plot, a fruit, git, git, guide. And there are five letters that actually don't have pairs, so when they are in the end of the word, we pronounce them as they are. Stall, a table. Dom, a house. Slon, an, an, an elephant. Teatr, theater. Chai, tea. Okay, and 
How do Russian children know what to write in the end of each word if they pronounce it like, for example, rab and not rab? Well, they they try to put a word rab in plural, and they were, will hear this b letter. Look, rabby, rabby, krabby, krabby, dubby. Zubi. You see, and they do it with every word to know which consonant to write. So I hope it was helpful and we'll meet each other in the next Russian pronunciation lesson. See you!